big head kick lands. her jab and there it is again so that jab has been in her opponent's face from the open oh! she is from that previous round, DC. Talk us through the knockdown, if you will. I mean, she was able to get to her spot. She was able to find the sweet spot, land that strike that put her opponent on her butt. Next time she lands that, the fight will be over. There's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes... Look at that finisher. High front shot. Knee picked the back ankle by reaching all the way across. <laughs> nice hammer fist. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, she's got her in a crucifix now. I would think a lot of options at her disposal offensively. Yeah, she's got all the options. All she needs to do is be patient. Drop elbows, drop big punches. Just really start to lay into your opponent, but do it in a way that you don't lose all the work that you put in to gaining such a dominant position. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition game. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Pretty impressive ground and pound display here, champ. She's doing a great job of finding the right time to take her ground and pound opportunities. So we call on the fight stats here, DC. 62 total strikes have landed now for Alexa Grosso. And landing with 56% accuracy, pretty good against Valentina Shevchenko. Able to check the high kick. All right, so she misses there with the strike, and at this point, what do you do? You getting on the bike to try to preserve some energy, or what? You gotta find a place to rest. You gotta get it. Oh, nice trip to change the level. Both fighters get up now. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Oh, how about the slip fire there? I was about to call that out as a land. Her head is moving tonight. It does not take much to really avoid a disc change of fight. Another takedown land. Under a minute to go. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Ooh. Great 
movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. All right, so the last five minutes were nothing if not dominant as we get to the next round here. And she told us on Thursday, I'm gonna work the body, wear my opponent down. So she threw her entire body into that massive uppercut, and she is seeing the rewards of her hard work. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to chase the finish. Eighty-five total strikes have landed for Alexa Grasso. And landing with 51% accuracy thus far against Valentina Shevchenko. How good a job does she do defensively to protect that bed, raise the guard, a lot of good things in there. Yep, hands up, chin down. She's got a perfect position for defensive boxing. Real quick leg kick. Submission game is underrated. She goes for the triangle here. Oh, oh we're getting a finish here. Nicely done. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Going. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Nice hammer fist. Shevchenko's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial. Shevchenko's looking for that arm triangle now. for her now and you know how heavy she stays with all of that upper body strength we'll see what she can do from here well she's got great upper body strength and that's why she passes because she doesn't necessarily feel she needs the legs to control her opponents on the ground so she goes to side control and hopes that you give your back that's right. why you see she has so many rear naked choke submissions i would never give you my back don't give me that nice hammer fist all right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there is the horn, so we will see another round. You thought maybe with that knockdown that that could have been the end. You thought it was over. People don't usually get up from those types of strikes. She took that big punch, continued to plod forward. But if she does not move her head, her night will be over very quickly. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round to fight in. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Oh, outstanding job by her there to change levels and get this fight to the ground. What do you guys call that, an ankle pick? I mean, that's an ankle pick. But there's a lot that goes into it for her to 
executed in a fight. Amazing. All right, she's got her in a crucifix from top position here, DC. What are you trying to do with your legs to maintain control of that arm? You know, you got to take this knee, slide it over the top of one of the arms, so that when they're bridging and turning, the arm is just going up and down your shin, blocked by your ankle, blocked by your knee. That's how you keep it there, and you maintain the underhook on the other side. So you control one part with your knee, one part with your arm, and then you just use your hands to just punch and beat them up. Shevchenko's in half goal. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yes, man, her submission attempts keep on coming. Going for the choke now. skill set before. Now you watch her and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest levels. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling coach must be very proud. So there she is celebrating with her corner, the queen of the 135ers, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. And how about the method of victory tonight as she gets it done by submission? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of round number four. For the winner by submission, and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Valentina Molenchenko. So the Krizikstan-born Valentina Shevchenko, your winner here.